Hi there. As a dispatch, you deal with multiple customer orders and multiple trucks or carriers moving the load. Let me show you how Tailwind can help with all these multitasking jobs for you. First of all, let's visit how very easy it is to dispatch a load. Here on the order screen, you can easily see the status of your orders. So let's pick on an unassigned one and dispatch it. Now, since we are a useful software for both asset-based trucking and also for freight brokerage, I'm going to show you how to dispatch to a company piece of equipment first, but don't worry, I'll come back and we'll dispatch another order to a carrier partner so we can see all the benefits it holds as well. Great, let's choose this one that's not dispatched yet. All we have to do is go ahead, open the order. We can see all the details, the fact that we're moving some Acme supplies from Houston to Belvedere. We're charging $2,200 for the freight, a $75 tarp. When I'm ready to dispatch this, it's as easy as dispatch all shipments, onto a new. Existing will be used for uh, instance in times where you want to throw a skid of LTL on the back of a trailer that's already been dispatched. We're going to use new in this case. And as I mentioned, we're going to dispatch it to asset-based equipment. So you have some buttons right here, company truck, brokered carrier. When I have company truck highlighted here in this pull down will be all of the tractors I have set up and vetted in my database. So I'm simply going to go ahead and choose the truck that's moving the load. The trailer and driver will automatically populate through from the last dispatch on this particular truck. I can change it if I need to. That's no problem. I'll just leave Georgia there as the driver. But now I can go ahead and save it so the software creates a dispatch record for me. Let's talk about this dispatch record. You're going to see a map route here showing you where you're going from and to with the ability to download or email those directions. All of our miles are generated by an application called here.com and they are truck practical miles. In the route plan, I can see I'm picking up at Acme Tools in Houston with a delivery to the Acme store in Belvedere. These maps over here are generated by Google Maps. I can also see that my driver has been assigned. I have access right through to the shipment details. So I can open the order right from the dispatch if needed, and I can see an expense area as well. We have to pay someone for moving that job for us. Georgia Green happens to be paid by the mile. Here on the route plan, I have the ability to calculate miles. All I have to do is click calculate mileage and the software goes to work for me, letting me know it's 1,085 miles to go from Houston to Belvedere. And the software will go to work for you as well to determine automatic payables. Very often we incentivize our company drivers and owner operators either by a mileage pay or by a revenue split. So this is simply auto payables at work for you, creating 50 cents per mile. I pay George Green 50 cents per mile. So that's just the software creating the bill for Georgia for me takes away all that need to do automatic, uh, sorry, manual calculation of driver pay and owner operator revenue splitting. But the most important part of a dispatch is getting the instructions out to your company driver or owner operator. And we've got two ways to do that for you. Here under the print menu, you have the ability to email a trip manifest. Let me throw this on the screen for us so you can see all that it holds. This is the instruction sheet to your driver. You will, your driver will get a trip number. That's what they're going to reference on their pay settlement statement. It shows them the tractor they're using, the trailer they're using. It shows them where to pick up. If they're scheduled pickup appointments, they will show there. It shows what to pick up and any notes that come through. So location notes or notes that are put on the actual order entry. And then, of course, it shows them where to deliver the load to. 
Now, while that's one way to get the instructions out to your driver or owner operator, we have a second and really slick way to handle this for you. I can't demo it because it involves the use of a cell phone, but I'll certainly describe it in depth for you. We have an app called the Drivers app. It's a POD complete app. It is Android and iPhone capable, so you can download it from the Google Play or the iTunes Store. When your driver has that app on their cell phone, the mere act of a dispatcher assigning the driver here and hitting the save button will send this dispatch out to the driver's cell phone. Your driver will be able to see all details listed in this trip manifest on their cell phone, but it doesn't stop there. Your driver has some functions as well. Georgia, when Georgia gets into Houston for loading, she can press a button on the app on her cell phone that will mark this flag in my database, will even show me the time that Georgia sent me the message. So I can now be tracking in and out times of my loading and unloading facilities directly from messages sent from my driver's cell phone as well. When Georgia gets into Belvedere, Illinois, sends me messages that mark these flags in my database showing me the load's been delivered, Georgia will have another button on her app that will allow her to capture the proof of delivery. That POD will flow through the electronic world, attach itself to the order in question in your database, and be ready for sending to your customer with the invoice. So you can actually be invoicing your customers day of delivery. Great, so that's dispatching to a company piece of equipment. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cancel this dispatch so we can re-dispatch it with a carrier partner so you can see all that it holds. So I'm simply navigating. I've canceled that dispatch. I'm just going to navigate back to my order screen and pick this order up again and re-dispatch it. So again, simply by opening that order, going ahead and hitting dispatch all shipments, onto a new, and now I'm going to choose my brokered carrier button. And when I do, here in this pull down will now be all of those carriers that I have set up and vetted in my database. Don't worry, the software is set up to keep you safe. It won't let you dispatch a load onto a carrier partner that has expired or expiring insurances. So I'm simply going to choose a carrier partner of mine and the contact that I'm talking to will flow right through from the carrier record. So perhaps I talk to Brian over there. The equipment type is going to populate through from the order. We put that information in when we're doing our order entry. You can track the driver cell, carrier tra tractor, and the carrier trailer number if they will give you those details. But the next thing we do is, of course, how much money are we paying the carrier for the movement of this job? And you can even categorize that expense. So it's always useful to categorize or put our expenses into specific buckets so we can do cost uh, analysis against our loads. So now when I save this record, again, the software is going to create a dispatch record for me. It's pretty much very similar to the dispatch record we saw when we dispatched to a company piece of equipment, but instead, it's not a trip manifest anymore. We have the ability to send a load confirmation to our carrier partners. Let me throw this on the screen for you. You can certainly email the load confirmation to your carrier partner. I'm going to go ahead and throw it on the screen because, of course, the load confirmation is your legal binding contract that gets set up between yourself and the carrier you've hired to move the job. Your logo your company information will populate here. This trip number acts as your PO to the carrier, what they should reference on the invoice back to you so you can easily reference in your database. It, of course, shows pickup dates, delivery dates, where to pick up. The fact that we put that note in, oh, no, that's order entry. You didn't watch that. I'm sorry. Anyway, any loading information from the location record or any pickup notes that are put on the order entry will populate through the amount of money you've agreed to pay the carrier and loading terms and conditions. 
everybody has different loading terms and conditions, and you can put your own terms and conditions in this field. So you can customize this document to make it your own. Back to the dispatch, everyone. So that's how easy it is to dispatch to company equipment as well as um, carrier partners. One other thing I want to show you about carrier partners, while well, you can certainly email that trip manifest out to your carrier partner, you can also send an electronic load confirmation. Slightly different. When you click send electronic load confirmation, the software will go to work for you. It will send the carrier an email. I'm just going to send that email out so it completes. And then it shows you that it's waiting acceptance. That email that you send to your carrier partner will contain pickup city, delivery city, and the amount of money you're willing to pay. It's a great function because it protects you against back solicitation until the carrier accepts that load electronically. Once the carrier does accept the load, this button will turn green for you and you will have the ability to see who electronically accepted. And when the carrier electronically accepts that load, your carrier will, no extra work by yourself, will get the full load confirmation. The software will automatically send it out to the carrier in question. Great, so that's how easy it is to dispatch an order onto company equipment or carrier partners. Now let's just take a brief moment and talk about those multitasking tools. You really have to have some serious multitasking tools in order to work in the dispatch and transportation. You're talking to lots of drivers, carrier partners, you're talking to lots of customers. So with Tailwind and the ability to make use of the multi-tabbed browsing capabilities of your browser, this becomes easier. So you can, you can with a right mouse function, you can open tab, links in a new tab. So I can open this dispatch on another tab in my database and the, and the software will show that information. I can come back to my dispatch list because I kept my dispatch list on one tab. I can open up another one on another tab. So I can have multiple tabs open, talking to whoever it is I'm talking to and easily navigate back and forth. I can also, with a right mouse function, open my entire order list if that's what I need to do. So that perhaps I would have my order list over here with my dispatch list, I can drag and drop those tabs around so that I can see whatever information I need to see. My dispatch list on one tab, my order list on another tab, an individual dispatch order, whatever that situation might be. So there's lots of functions in the software that's going to help you with those multitasking tools. Great, I sure hope that helps you understand how easy it is to dispatch a load and get the instructions out to your company driver, owner, operator, or carrier partner. Thanks for watching.